How's it going guys? And welcome to everything you need to know about the Leatherman Signal. We grabbed some old bikes, headed up in the mountains, and we're running it through the paces. The Leatherman Signal is billed as an outdoor survival multi-tool. It's the type of thing you might take hiking or camping, you might throw in a bug out bag, or take on a little moto adventure. And what sets it apart as an outdoor kind of survival multi-tool are a few little ingenious tools that are built into the frame of the knife. The first of which is the sharpener. So to get the sharpener off, you push the backstop lock down, push the sharpener forward, and it releases from the multi-tool. Now, the sharpener is definitely something that you would just use in a pinch, which makes sense for the intended uses of the multi-tool, you know, in maybe a survival or a bug out situation. But the really cool thing about it is that the shape of the sharpener is designed to sharpen both the flat edge and the serrated edges of the combo knife. Aside from the sharpener, there's a really cool combo tool built into the other side of the handles on the signal, and that is a ferro rod whistle. Now, for the whistle end of it, when I was younger, I always thought whistles were just like an unnecessary piece of gear, until I started to talk to some actual like survival experts who've been in situations where they've been out looking for people or been in situations where they've had to survive. And it turns out a whistle can actually be a handy bit of gear because you can blow a whistle a lot longer than you can yell for help. So whether you're wayfinding and trying to like locate other people or whether you're injured and down, you're gonna be able to blow the whistle a lot longer than you can yell. And uh, you know, it's a useful little whistle. Now the ferro rod that's built into the signal really is designed for survival applications. With ferro rods, you kind of have a sliding scale of harder to softer, and this is a much softer ferro rod. So it's not something that you would take camping and practice with, but it is something that's gonna strike really, really well if you're in a pinch and need to use it. And the cool thing is, is that this whole assembly locks on the inside of the multi-tool, so you're really unlikely to not at least have one type of fire starting if you find yourself in a pinch and you have your multi-tool. To really talk about the ferro rod, we've got to look at the other two tools that are on the outside of the Leatherman signal, and that would be the combination blade and the saw. The Leatherman Signal has everything on board you need to make a fire in a pinch. The plain edge on the knife can fire stick. It's a little bit of a struggle, but if you have the option, I would just do like I ended up doing and gathering some dry materials to make the start for your fire. And it's actually the back of the saw that you'll use to strike your ferro rod. There we go. The signal does a pretty good job at getting a fire going. So moving past the special kind of survival outdoor bug out tools that are on the signal, we move into the blade and the saw. And obviously they're for more than just making fires. So the saw on the signal is uh, just a great wood saw. It does exactly what you would expect it to do. If you've ever used a saw on a good multi-tool, you know exactly what this is like. One thing that's really cool is all of the tools on the signal are locking which is great, especially in outdoor situations. You may not be close to a hospital or something if something were to fold up and slip on you. And then the knife blade is a combo blade. It comes with a straight edge and serrations. One cool thing about this knife is this is actually the thickest stock knife that Leatherman puts on any of their multi-tools. This is actually thicker than the knife that they put on the Surge. I've heard a couple people complain about the signal having a combo blade, but in my head, when we're talking about an outdoor knife, a survival knife, a bug out knife, I think it makes a lot of sense to have those serrations on there because serrations are so much better at handling paracords, ropes. I mean, even just kind of having a secondary type blade that you can beat up a little more than your plain edge. And really, that's all the tools on the outside of the signal, which moves us to the inside of the signal and looking at the other outdoor tools the signal incorporates, and then brings up an interesting question about the multi-tool nature of an outdoor knife. The last three tools that we have that are kind of specifically designed, I think, for outdoor use is the awl. Now, if you wanna know anything about the awl, I just released an entire video on awls on multi-tools. Go check that out. There's a lot to be said there. After the awl, we have the can opener. The interesting thing about the can opener is it might be kind of an obsolete tool or a tool that's on its way out. I think that a lot of us probably would bring, you know, dehydrated food out camping. A lot of us would bring pop top cans out camping. Or if we are bringing a lot of canned food, we're probably bringing like a proper can opener. It is there, it can be useful. I happen to use can openers from time to time on the road when I'm traveling. And then from those tools, we close it up 
And the back of the signal is actually a pretty useful little hammer. It's good to have a blunt instrument on you every once in a while. You know, you could use this to drive in stakes at camp. Now, admittedly, I wouldn't want to drive 10,000 stakes in with this thing. It's not super comfy, but if you just need a blunt object, you don't want to bend up your tool, it's a nice addition to the signal. And since we're looking at this end, just really quick, obviously there is a carabiner end that you can use to attach it to a belt loop or a backpack. It has a pocket clip on it, and the signal does come with a Leatherman sheath like you're used to with your other Leathermans. Another really cool thing about the back end of this knife is that it actually has a locking mechanism that will lock the tool closed. And that's cool for a lot of reasons. If you're carrying it as a carabiner, you're carrying it in your pocket, you're throwing it in a backpack, you don't have to worry about it opening up on you. The other reason that's awesome is because your ferro rod is now locked inside of your tool. And again, if you're looking at this as a survival or bug out type tool, locking that ferro rod in is an assurity that as long as you have the tool, you're gonna have a way to start a fire. And that covers pretty much all of the very obvious, specific outdoor or survival tools that are on the Leatherman. And that transition just to the tools that I'm gonna call the mechanical tools. It's in the mechanical tools on the Leatherman signal that we come into the Leatherman dilemma or the Leatherman advantage. And that has to do with the needle nose pliers, the cutters, the screwdriver that's inside of the handle, and the bit driver that is in the hammer. Some people might think, I don't have a lot of use for that when I'm backpacking or hiking, which may or may not be true. But for example, if you're out cruising around on old motorcycles, the signal can actually make a pretty decent little toolkit for getting stuff like this done. If you're car camping, the pliers could come in really handy with different stoves and different applications and things that you might have kicking around the camp. Not to mention, again, potential vehicle repair or, you know, vehicle patching up while you're getting around. To expand on the tools that are offered already with the signal, you can get some different extensions, which make it even more useful for this type of application. This is the Leatherman extension. It's ratcheting, and that gives you an extension that you can put either in the end of the bit driver here on the back of the signal, or even in the quarter driver here on the hammer. On top of that, this is a regular driver on the front, so you could get extensions like this uh, Phillips extension I have here. You could also just use regular extensions if you don't have access to the Leatherman, and those can go in the end of the hammer here. Another neat extension, especially if you're thinking about using this as some sort of lightweight mechanical toolkit, is you can get a 3 8 extension that can go into the tool here just to put together a really lightweight toolkit to take around with you on your motorcycle or your Jeep or whatever it may be. Important note on the driver end here on the hammer is that it does not hold the driver in place, which honestly is a little annoying. So there's two fixes. You could get a little like strong magnet that will go in the inside of that and it will hold any of your bits, or you can loop a single strand of paracord through this opening here and it will lock your tool in. There are a lot of really awesome mods for the signal and that's just an easy one. So outside of just the mechanical advantages of these specific Leatherman style tools that are on the signal, there's also a survival advantage. And what I mean by that is if you're using this in a bug out bag, you could be in an urban environment, you could be headed to the outdoors. All of the outdoor tools and applications on this would be helpful in that situation, but you also might need some of these more mechanical urban tools as well. If you're in a survival situation, you might find that you're coming across a lot of human materials that can help you survive. For example, on a bike like this, we're just here in a regular old campsite. We're about, I don't know, an hour up the mountain, pretty remote. We've only seen two or three people come by. And in the fire pit that's here, there's actually wire, there's nails, there's some hinges that you could use for maybe heat shields or something like that. So there's a lot of advantage to having just a couple mechanical styles urban survival tools on a survival tool for the outdoors. That's if you wanna go with a multi-tool model like the Signal, and I think that the Signal does it pretty dang well. Gives you a lot of what you need and not a lot of what you're not gonna use often. Having heard a lot about the Leatherman Signal, I can say after running it through the paces that this thing's a pretty complete package. I mean, this is something that you could put together a lightweight toolkit, go do some moto camping with, take it car camping, take it hiking, take it backpacking. I think it'd be great for a bug out bag because it walks that line between urban and non-urban environments. And speaking of urban environments, if this tool kind of interests you but you have no use for the survival implements on it, 
no problem because there's actually inserts that are made that you can carry extra bits or other types of EDC items. So if you're looking to put together an EDC bag or an EDC kit and you need a good multi-tool, the Leatherman Signal very well could be it. Thanks for coming along on this one, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.